Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and welcome back to some SoldierCraft 7 guys. In the last video you will remember I was in beta version 1. Well now guys, I'm in beta version 2. It's not out yet, so whatever you do, don't go try to download it. I've still got some work to do and I've still got some things to add, some things to change, all that jazz. Um, but I just want to tell you, you know, show you through some changes. Now as you can see in the background there, there's this windmill type looking thing. And that is from a mod called Frogcraft. It's uh, an industrial craft add-on, as you can quite clearly see, and uh, will allow you to do these, which are f fully awesomeness. They really are. I absolutely love the look of these. And um, yes, frog craft. Uh, it does do more than that. Let me just go and see if I can uh, grab it. As you can see, a lot of when it gets off my screen. Um, there's a lot of, lot of stuff involved in here guys and I'd love to say oh this does this and this does this but simply I really don't know. Um, I saw the windmills I thought yes I am adding that in and uh, I'm enjoying it so far. So that's Frogcraft. We've also got Greg's Lighting. Greg's Lighting is new. Well it's not new but uh, it's new to uh, Solidcraft for this version. A lot of different lightings that you can get there. Now these actually uh, work across like loads and loads of blocks. I can't remember how many blocks it is but uh, they do work over a long, uh, a longer di uh, distance. That's the word I'm looking for. So that's Greg's lighting. We've also got advanced power management which is up here which is this thing that you can see in front of me. How awesome is that? Guys, it will allow you, it's an adjustable transformer so I mean it's pretty much self-explanatory really. You can adjust the transformer and so on and so forth. Let me just get rid of that music, it's getting my tits. Um, charge pads. Many, many people will already know about charge pads, guys, but uh, it will allow you to uh, charge things just by standing on a pad, which is awesome. Extra cells has been uh, updated and added in. Will allow you to get some, uh, some problems here with uh, some textures, but remember, guys, it is beta. So, as you can see, we've got oh, fluid storage. Interesting. None of five fluid types used. You can store fluids. That is that is nice. I like that. That's new. That is new right there. Um storage there, adjustable uh, ME storage, all that kind of good stuff. Look at that. Fluid fluid transition plane. Oh my god, I'm going to have to uh have a look into this. Awesome. Extra cells, new. Uh, nether stuffs. Everyone will know about nether stuffs, guys. Uh, if you've played Solidcraft before, you will know about nether stuffs. Everybody does. It's been in since God knows when. Um, we allowed loads of um, nether ores, uh, some uh, nether trees, and different bits and bobs that you can do with it. If you haven't seen on his forum page, Ben's forum page, that is, uh, um, go over to his forum page and you'll see uh, there's my mod spotlight on there on how this works. That's nether stuffs. We've also got Twilight Forest. Whee, Twilight Forest is once again back. I was going to add it into the last version of Beta 1, but I thought, no, I'm going to leave this out for a little bit. I'll add it in Beta version 2. And uh, I went ahead and did that. So there we are. You guys have got another dimension to go and explore. Ender IO was one of them. It was one of these mods that uh, people were telling me about and you know, and then I found by myself by mistake and then uh, I thought oh this looks actually pretty good um, as you can see in front of me here it will allow the transfers of liquids power and redstone signal all within one little block like this this is fantastic and I also like the look of this as long as it works okay it should be uh, absolutely fine I, I love the look of this I've got to say love it that's Ender IO right there Frogcraft you already know about Somnia guys for the uh, veterans of Minecraft, they will know about a mod called the Somnia mod. Or the Insomnia. I can't remember what it was called. I'm sure it was just called Somnia. And it will allow you to sleep during the day. But not only that, it's got a little clock in there. And you can see the amount of speed that it's actually going by. And, uh, you know, we're speeding up and speeding up and speeding up. This is the amount of ticks that has been going on. So you've got your normal amount. And it's speeding right the way up here, guys. Look at this. We're going straight through the night. As you can see by this little clock. All the while, everything in your world will be simulating. So if you've put something in for Greg Tech, say for example, and it's going to take two or three minutes, um, go to bed, go sleep, and then, you know, the ticks will all be sped up, and we're up to nearly 30 times the amount here, which is fantastic. And it's getting daytime again, so let's leave the bed. And there you go, guys. 
really nice easy way and uh, everything carries on that's now full nothing else that I can show you about really but uh, you know say for example you had something in the furnace you put it in there a stack of stuff went to bed did this somnia thing got out now it's also worth noting guys that with the somnia mod in mobs can spawn and despawn so if you've got your bed out in the open like this chances are you're gonna get smacked out of it when uh, when the Somnium mod kicks in. Um, the last but not least is World State Saves. Now this is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic addition to, uh, to SolidCraft because it will allow you to save on a checkpoint. Basically if you press F6 you'll get World State checkpoints here and uh, you can save a new one. Save the checkpoint as Auto Save 1 or something like that. That's auto save one is now saved. Now let's pop over here and say, for example, I just died. Oh dear, I've just died. I've lost all my stuff. Press F6, load a checkpoint, auto save one, and uh, it will go ahead and load the world once again, and you will be back where you auto saved. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, not only that, guys, but you can actually do configure auto save. So. Every 10 seconds, you want a maximum auto saves to keep. So, you know, obviously, it's like a rolling saves. I've got three set here. These are, you know, you can do it in minutes as well. Save on. So, uh, you can do it 10 seconds, or you can do it 10 hours, 10 minutes, so on and so forth. I'm going to leave it as 10 seconds, why not? And then keep three as a rolling save there. Auto save checkpoints are on. Let's save. Now, what should be happening, guys, is it should be auto-saving. You keep an eye on the bottom left-hand side, you'll see that it starts auto-saving after 10 seconds. Did I turn it on properly? I mustn't have turned it on properly. Let me have a look. Auto-save checkpoints on. It should come up on the bottom left hand side. I did test it guys and it was working. There we are. So now you can see it's saving checkpoints guys. So you're wandering around the world and it just auto saves for you. It's absolutely fantastic to have this kind of thing in a single player world. It's priceless. It's absolutely priceless. And credit goes to uh, Bespirk, Bespirkers, whatever you want to try and call him. Um, Bespirkers because he's the one who's carried it on uh, from the other guy who did it, which was, if I save here, Mighty Park. As you can see, Bespirkers with permission. And Bespirkers is obviously open source, and uh, he allows people to use it in mod packs. So this is going to be absolutely fantastic, guys. It really, really is. Um, you can, like, load check checkpoints. You can quick checkpoint by pressing F7. Now, it's also currently the key at the moment for the uh, mob spawning, so that's where you can see a lot of yellow blocks from around the place. Um, but it's just fantastic guys, absolutely fantastic. And I don't think that Beta 2 will end there, I think I'm going to add some more stuff in. Though I may use this um, and just play around with it a bit for uh, you know, for the funnies first and see how things go on. And uh, just to see how it affects things and how people want to see things go and all that kind of good stuff. So there you are guys. Um, oh, I'll also show you the nether, I may as well while I'm here. Oops. Yeah, the nether is, uh, it's no longer looks anything like the nether. You've got Natura that's uh, generating stuff in here. You've got the ultimate nether mod, which is generating stuff in here. You've now got uh, nether stuffs, which is generating stuff in here, guys. Um, it's one thing to know as well, you will get some uh, ID conflicts within the ultimate nether mod. Uh, I couldn't do anything about it. It's just the way it is, guys, and I had to change that one in particular. So you will get some conflicts when you update from beta 1 to beta 2, as as said. But uh, in all honesty, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too hard, guys. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, unless you've loaded the nether and... It's only item ID conflicts, not block ID, so you're not going to get, like, random blocks just changing all over the place. So I won't worry too much about that. I don't know what that green stuff is, to be honest. Looks scary. I don't want to know. But... Guys, I love the look of this, and I'm so looking forward to getting a wind farm on the crack um, in my LP with probably my cousin. I'm probably going to have Frogcraft in there as well in the Toff and Sheds pack. But Soulcraft Beta version 2, coming soon, guys. Until next time, I've been the Toffman as always. Stay safe.